First, we navigate to alibabacloud.com and log on to your console. We go into DT Plus Overview and we go into DateWorks. This is actually an online IDE for Max Compute. The first thing we are going to do is create a new project. Choose the region you like and choose the Max Compute and the machine learning. Actually, we do not need the machine learning for AI, which is spy in this in these demonstrations. Give it a project name and create this new project. We go into project list and enter the project we have just created. After the initializations, we can go directly into the project. When the status of the project comes to normal, we go into data integrations. First, we are going to new a data source. We already have one which is indicate this Max Compute Platform. So we are going to create a new data source from the OSS. We need some basic information like endpoint and bucket name of the OSS. And we entered a get access ID and access key to test the connections. Now we have a new data source, which is the OSS. And then we're going to create a synchronization task to import some data from this OSS we have just created. We chose the data source we have just create, created and enter the file name. This is the just the log file name. We chose the version of type as txt and the column separator as a blank. And if we can see the IP address and timestamp in the data preview, that means we can successfully import the data from OSS. And next, we are going to choose the data source as the OSS and create a new table on ODPS to store the data on Max Compute. So we change our we just need to two columns and the second column is also a string type and we give it a new uh, table name and we do not need partitions. So because we only need the IP address and the timestamp column, so we're just mapping the column 0 and column 3 to the, our new table. So we give, give it a name of this synchronization task. After we successfully created this task, we have to submit this task into our schedule. So these are the schedule options we are going to make if you want. So if we do not, we just run it directly.
we can go to the date development component of DateWorks to see the result. We go into the table queries in your left hand side and find the table name we have just created and see the preview. We can see all of the data are in our MaxQL project tables. Next, we are going to deal with the data in the tables, which is IP address and the timestamp. We can see the timestamp is not the form we want, so we are going to create a task to deal with that. We can see there's two options of the task type. One is workflow and one is for node task. Node task is for if you can deal with that with a one-step task. So if you, if you have to finish the task with several steps, you may need a, flow, a workflow task. And in workflow, we have a dashboard. You can drag and drop some nodes, like the virtual node, to indicate the start and the end and some ODPS circles. That means you can write some circle statement in this, in this node. And you can define a several steps and give it a flow. Now we can define an end node. And you can give some directions with arrow and uh, this is our workflow task. You can double click one node to enter your circle statement or some, some other script type like shell, like the Python code. This time we are going to create a node task because we are going to finish all of the steps in one node. Now first we are going to uh, give a statistic of the unique IP address we're using this circle statement and run, run it over the table. Now we get the, re get the result of uh, 851 unique IP address. Next, we are going to extract the hour information from the timestamp string. So we need regular expressions to do that. And we, se we select column 1 for IP address and column 2 stand for the uh, timestamp and, and next is the regular expressions for we extract the hours from the whole timestamp information we comment out the first line so let the max compute only execute the second line Now we're going to see the result from 0 to 23. That's 24 hours of one day. And it's corresponding visit IP address. So now we are going to create a table. We are using the CA, CTAS create table as 
select Now we have the table created. And the next, we are going to use the grid by to indicate how many IP address have visited within one hour. So we do the same for the 24 hours in one day, so we get the final result. We're using the count and group by. So we come out of the second line and we run this circle statement. Now we get the result that the number of visits visit within each hour. We also put this result into one table and uh, also use the create table as select. We name the table is for Quick BI because next step we are going to use Quick BI to generate some line chart. Now we get the table. You can also put all of the steps into a workflow task and to make each circle statement into one task node. So we are going to switch the products of Quick BI. In Quick BI, we chose your favorite regions and we are using the same as Max Compute. There's two versions of Quick BI. One is for professional use, one is for basic use. So the basic version is just enough. We go into our own workspace and we can see there are three components, this source, this site, and dashboard. We are going to create a this source from Max Compute. Give it a name as you like and some other information. And then we can get Max Compute with the tables uh, we already have in the Max Compute. We made one table into a data set of Quick BI. So now the table turned into a data set of Quick BI. And we can preview the data from Max Compute. and we can create a new dashboard. We're using the 
git set for PPI, which shows the ma measures and dimensions and gives some configurations of the ch this chart. Here comes the chart indicate the visitors, the number of visitors within each hour. And we can do some configurations like remarks and to show the labels and to rename the X axis and y axis. We can also change the statistics aspect of the count numbers. And we update and to see the result you want. From the result we can see the rush hours of your applications. So you can pay more attention to the 9 to 10 o'clock in the morning and the 15 to 18 in the afternoon. And so that um, can give you some clues for the operations and the maintenance. After you have done your configurations, and you can uh, save the dashboard and even to share them to the, to the others. And now, you can use the Max Compute and Quick BI to give a data analysis and data visualizations. Thanks for watching.